In a world awash with offerings from giant distilleries like Buffalo Trace and Heaven Hill and Jack Daniels, everybody always wants to know, what are some of the good small distilleries out there? Yes. Well, I found one of the best in the nation, and if you want to hear about it, then stick around. So, Watershed Distillery. I'm sad I didn't go. Yes. This is another thing. Um, one of our dear, 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 dear friends and admins of Bourbon Road Talk community loves, loves, loves Watershed. Mm -hmm. um, and and he, I he brought, could not go. He brought samples to yeah. Houston. Yeah. So, Shane McNutt, who is a admin for Bourbon Road Talk community, came down to a barrel pick that we did, a Patreon barrel pick that yeah. we did in Houston. He brought samples. We're sitting at the table. It's like 9.30 in the morning. We're getting ready to leave for the <laughs> distillery. And I say, you can't drink all day if you don't start, start in the morning. In the morning. And true. I open up the sample, which I believe that it was the previous version of this one. Wasn't that the one where we stayed at the really crappy house? Oh, the house went crappy. It was okay. But the funny no, there part was of the only story. air conditioning on the bottom floor. Oh, that's we right. Staying. That was, yeah. We, and then everyone else was staying upstairs. We could regale you with all of our crazy Airbnb <laughs> stories and our whiskey travels. So I take anyway. it, I take a sip and I, I, oh, I'm, you I'm it trying all to over the table. freshen my palate. And I went to pick it up a second time. And I don't know how many times I bobbled this bottle in the air, but it was <laughs> just the right number of times to sling whiskey everywhere. everywhere. And uh, I ended up with maybe a quarter of an ounce of the two ounce sample that I got to actually try. And it was enough to make me interested in the distillery. And so I reached out to uh, Watershed and the Patreon group went there a couple weeks ago mm -hmm. and did a single barrel selection. Yeah. And so uh, two things about this. One, we're going to introduce you to the distillery because they mm -hmm. actually have kind of a, um, a unique flavor profile um and and they've got a couple of different styles okay uh, it, of flavor and we're going to talk about that uh but we're also going to talk about how you can get your hands on a bottle of single barrel watershed Whoop. okay so uh let's start off with this guy right here so this is a uh special uh release that they do limited release at the distillery uncut, uncut unfiltered, unfiltered watershed straight bourbon whiskey um, this one happens to be 62.7% alcohol. Oh, that's so a bit. So it's a bit. And uh, this distillery actually has two sets of distilling equipment. Okay. And one set, the set that they use to make this whiskey, is a column still. Okay. And so the reason why most of you who have tried small craft whiskeys don't like them is because most distilleries start off making whiskey on a pot still. On a pot still because it's just too expensive to get column still set up. Not these guys, okay? All their whiskey, all their bourbons that they're releasing were made on their column still set up. And I, for one, am here to tell you that it is the most Kentucky-esque hmm. um, whiskey that you can get from a small craft distillery. There's only a few others that have a whiskey that is this Kentucky-esque. Still Austin okay. is one of them. Um, and so I, I'm... Uh, it smells so yummy. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, it's uh, it's just solid bourbon, right? So this one has um, holy moly. Yeah. So it's very sweet up front. Mm -hmm. Um, lots of caramel, brown sugar notes, but then it kind of transitions a little bit. Okay. And can you identify? This is a flavor that you love. Don't put pressure on me. I've been drinking for a while. Okay, all right. I don't like the pressure. Like I it, like. It it, it it it's it's hidden down in there. Yeah. It's not right up on top. Okay, but it's hidden down in there. There's some baking spice notes. There's some brown sugar notes. There's some caramel notes. There's but there's a fruit flavor that is one of your favorites. Are you saying banana? No, one of your favorites, not what I'm known for. 
I don't know what my favorite fruit is. What are we talking about? Tea? Are you saying tea? My Alfa Romeo? So there's tea in this? No. No, not tea in it, but like a tea flavor? What no. are you saying? Lychee. Oh, lychee. Yeah, or lychee, depending, lychee on... depending on how you pronounce it. Yeah, so okay, okay, I totally get that. Yeah, so it's down underneath. So, but like it's super, super. Like you, I feel like you can get all of the like caram caramely like stuff. All right. But, okay, this says that um, it Ohio made in char five barrels. Isn't that like super, super ultra? Yeah. Okay, so. When they're making a barrel in the United States to make it a bourbon, it has to be a new charred oak container. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. there are typically four different levels of char. There's no real legal definition of the char levels. Okay. But there's something that they call a char five, and it's where they burn the barrel until it's almost falling apart. And it creates the thickest layer of charcoal. And so a lot of people think uh, the charcoal um, imparts the color. Okay but it's actually filtration right okay. so think about like if you have poison in your stomach and right, you, you, take absorb, you take charcoal and it absorbs it right and so this is a thicker layer of filtration um and it i'm sure it does impart some color but i mean it's really really yummy really yummy so this is uh, a sample this is not the actual barrel that we picked you're gonna have to get me another one it's okay it's not the actual barrel that we picked but this is um, the sister barrel to the one that we picked because the... it's so like florally. Yes, and so it's florally and fruity and light and fluffy. This one is more in the direction of like mm. a four roses, mm -hmm. right? Um, I would even say, and this is a tasting note that oh, I don't that's so nice don't give very often, uh, but it's so floral. It's got. Uh, a little bit of that uh, that baby oil oh uh, yeah flavor in it you know um, and and we have it in our aroma kit yes and, um, and it's the Jackie Zykin always always gives the the tasting note oh I can't remember it starts with an H heliotrope heliotrope yeah so it's got a little heliotrope in it which tastes like baby oil smells I mean, very, My very brain floral. was going, like, <laughs> maybe we cut this out. Um, my brain is going to the, um, the Mandy Moore Gardenia song. Yeah. Well, and the wind likes gardenias. Like, it's, it's that florally to me. It's super floral. Then, so. Okay, taste it again and tell me you don't think Mandy Moore. Tastes just like Mandy Moore. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Over the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> to, to lame whiskey reviews. <laughs> this guy can kiss the ice. All right. You've hit me enough. God. Not enough. You brought it up. All right. Now. So I like your whiskey. It was nice. Nice. All right. <laughs> Now, I want to move on to a another one here. Keanu Reeves. Yeah, uh, this one has a Keanu Reeves tater sticker on it. Yeah, I'm very excited. Oh, I didn't finish that. It's okay. We don't need to finish that one. We're going to move on to this flavor, right? Because we're trying to teach people about this distillery. Okay. Okay. And they got a pretty wide breadth of flavors that come out of their barrels. This one um, is all lychee. Or lychee. This is the one that you brought me, right? Yeah. Um, and if you're not familiar with lychee... Lychee. <laughs> lychee. I don't... We don't know how to say it. We had to Google it. We had to Google it. And it... Uh, Everyone is different. Yeah. It's both. It's both. And neither at the same time. Exactly. All I know is, is that however I say it, she's going to tell me it's wrong. That's not true. I thought I was being funny. You are funny. You just attacked me on camera. I have proof now. All right. So this one... <laughs> So if you're not familiar with lychee lychee, <laughs> Lee lychee, lychee lychee, it is pretty similar to a ruby red grapefruit. Okay. 
Um, Can people hear us sniffing? Uh huh. I worry about that. I I do an editing thing that okay. takes some of it out, but yeah, it's still. I'm worried about the sniff. It's still a lot of, uh, you know. So, I haven't even sipped this yet. I'm I'm done with it. Mm. And so what I found interesting is that we tried mm. several single barrels when we were there. And you not a fan? No, it's like it's caramel and sweet tea and the lychee lychee all together. Yes. It's like Keanu Reeves just stuck his finger in it. Right. I'm I just kidding. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what Keanu Reeves tastes like. I don't either. Yeah. I don't care. But he's lovely. Yeah. And so is this whiskey. Um, so what I found interesting about these is that this is a standard distillery offering. Okay. This, so this is the single barrel we picked. Okay. This is more in the direction of like a fruity floor, like a Four Roses. Yeah, that was really yummy. This tastes like uh, Alfa Romeo. Okay. Um, but like... And also tastes like Red Breast 27, which is odd. But it's got caramel in it. It's but like this that one had... is in between... These two, right? Okay. But this is this is blended, and these two are single barrels. Okay. This single barrel also tastes like lychee lychee. Okay. <laughs> That's just what we're gonna call it from, from now on, because I don't want to get corrected. I know. Yeah. Um, and so the breadth of flavors, and they're all good. Mm. That this distillery has is pretty interesting. Um, now we've got this guy. Okay. Okay. This. From so the day that we did our pick, it's a rye. They released a six year old rye. Shut up. Okay. It is a hazmat. <gasps> a hazmat rye. A hazmat rye. I'm gonna get another glass. It is uh almost a hundred and forty six proof. Almost a hundred and forty six proof. Yes, please. Yeah. And so, um, from what I understand, there were 100 bottles and 16,000 people signed <gasps> up to win one of these Shut bottles. Up. So, I get there, I put my name in the hat, and I'm standing there like an idiot with like all of these people waiting over in the other building for um, <laughs> to do the barrel pick. And I'm looking at like the coordinator and I'm like, do I even have a chance to win? And so uh, I was very grateful. The distillery let me get a bottle. Holy crap, bro. And it's almost gone, guys. And so... I'm just not I've, tasting I've this take, rye. I, I have drank maybe a quarter ounce out of this bottle. And you shared it with everyone else. So what happened was the next day, I went to a bottle share that was coordinated in Ohio. Yeah. So all, there's like 40 people at this bottle share. And they're all from Ohio. They all love Watershed. They all knew about this release. And I had the only open bottle of it. And they drink almost the whole thing. Like, I'm super sad. At, like, this is really yummy. I, it's got a weird thing and I can't put my finger on it. It's very sweet tea-esque. Yeah. Um, now that I'm spending a little bit of time, when I first opened it, I didn't like it. Mm. And I was like, bro, I'd rather have one of these. But it's got more caramel than this. Like, these guys have like a lighter kind of fruity situation, and this one's heavier. Yeah. It's it's got it's got a hint of that pine needle note. Um but so much caramel and brown sugar. Yeah. Um the and and also a uh sweet tea. Oh, yes. Flavor. And I don't even like tea. That is what's so funny. I will not drink tea, but I like whiskeys that have that, like, flavor. I mean, I can imagine, I, I mean, I get how rare this is, but at this proof, if you poured this over ice in the summer, it'd be super refreshing. You'd feel it's like you're so drinking nice. sweet tea outside. Like, it's caramely, it's, like, like maple syrupy, like, it's got a deeper flavor, that, like, especially this guy. Uh, did I say pine needle? You did. Okay, yeah. Little pine needle mixed in with that, which, uh, you know, one of the common flavors that I get with uh, rye whiskey. But just lovely. It's so, like, I, I love all of I those. was totally prepared to get on here and tell you that this one was, like, not worth the hunt. And 
I, again, I had only drank like maybe a quarter ounce of it um, in it before I got the bottle home. It's almost empty. Now that I'm spending a little bit of time with it, I like it. It's yeah, good. Yeah, it's, it's a heavier flavor than these guys. These are like lighter mm -hmm. and they float up here. But I mean, it's hazmat. It's, like it's going to kick you in the teeth. But it doesn't drink like it's It doesn't. Running. It's not hot though. I mm -hmm. don't like... Mm -mm. I'm not going to like grow hair on my chest or anything. Drink nothing. No, no, it's solid stuff. <laughs> so this is Watershed Distillery. Um, I hope that you get the opportunity to try it. Yeah. Um, we're going to do a one ounce sample pack of all yes. of these bottles. Um, and hopefully uh, one of you at home will get a chance to recreate this experience for yourself. If you want to enter the win, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, Ring the bell so you're notified of future giveaways and content. Yes. And then in the video description, there's a link. You click it. You fill in your information. We run the randomizer. We reach out to the winner. We get your address. We ship your samples absolutely for free. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. And if you want to support this channel, you can do so by joining Patreon. And if you were to join right now, you would get the exclusive right to buy a single Ooh. barrel of this bottle whenever it comes out. And so... We're going to get one, right? Um, of course, yeah. I, I need that. That's, yeah, it's it's solid. So um, and we have two more distillery takeovers that are already planned, uh, and we have not released the sign-up links for. So if you, uh, one's going to be a Kentucky Bourbon Trail trip, um, and one is going to be uh, in Reno. So check that out. And then you can also support us by checking our merch on bourbonrealtalk.com. Whiskey stuff made by whiskey people for whiskey people. And you can support this channel by hiring me as your real estate agent in the Dallas or Houston metro area. There are links for all of that in the video description below. And if you hire me as your agent, you get an epic, epic. bottle as epic a closing bottle. gift. Um, I've given out Van Winkles and BTAX and all of the <gasps> good stuff. Oh, man. Sometimes just... alcohol abuse right here. Just... She wasted alcohol. I slung whiskey and I didn't mean to. It's okay. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Should we tell them why we do all this? Let's do it. Okay. So part of the reason why we started this channel was because we wanted to be a force in this world that brings people together and creates connection. And connection is something that is important to us because I lost my brother to suicide. And after my brother's suicide, I found out that he had lost a lot of the social connections in his everyday life. And I wanted to find a way to help people maintain and form new connections. And I saw whiskey bringing people together. And so I figured if I can get you connected to the whiskey, the whiskey will do the rest of the job and get you connected to others. And if you're going to have connection, though, you do need a forum. A lot of the forums are filled with negativity. So that led us to two conclusions. One... We needed to start a forum that didn't have negativity in it. We created Bourbon Real Talk Community, which is a free Facebook-based whiskey forum that you can go join right now. Lots of great things going on in there. Um, it's like a Kiwi. You know, from the outside looking in, you can't understand it. From the inside <laughs> looking out, you can't explain it. Uh, you just got to get in there and experience it for yourself. Um, but the other thing that that negativity taught us was that if people can hate you online, we can love you online. And that's why we end every episode the same way. And that's this. If you woke up this morning, you're unsure whether or not anyone loved you, just know Don't that we love you. you. We'll see you next time on Bourbon World Talk. Cheers. Cheers. This glass is dirty. It's because of where so much lipic. So much lipic. No, yipic. You don't talk to me about not pronouncing stuff right. Yipic. It's yipic. You always, that's it with me. Don't right. put that in there. <laughs> yeah. Put don't, it in there. Don't. Don't put one in there. <laughs> <laughs> Extra spicy. We're going to cut that. I'm cutting that out for sure, for sure. Okay. Ah, I'm drinking too much too early. I have no idea what we're tasting. What a shit distillery. <laughs> I haven't tasted them, so. Yeah, you have. Don't remember. I give you a lot of different whiskeys. Here it goes. Duh. Da 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 da. Uh 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 uh.